Well, congratulations, you have done it. You have burned through all your money and your city is at its wit's end because you don't generate money anymore. But that doesn't have to be, especially if you have watched this video, you will learn how you can make money early on very quickly. First things first, you can see that I already make money and I started to make money at around 4,000 to 5,000 people. So I'm now at 8,000 and I make a good chunk of money. How did I do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. I did cut back on some of the service upkeeps you really don't need. And then I did a few things to actually start to generate money. So first things first, let's talk about the two new features which are new in City Skylines 2 and which will keep you afloat. The first thing is government subsidies. They will keep you afloat for quite a while because they're helping you to take the brunt of most of your expenses. They are not there to make you money. They are there that the expenses do not hurt that much at the beginning and don't burn through the money you have. That's the first thing which is helping you quite a bit. So invest into the future. The same goes when you are upgrading your city, right? Every time you do that, you get one time money and it's quite significant and you can utilize it actually to invest again into the future so that you can make sure that at some point when you don't make that money anymore or it's super slow, you will make your own money every hour. So those are the two things you have to look out for. Now let's talk about expenses. So the game is tricking you a little bit. The game is giving you development points, right? And you can utilize the development points to unlock new things you can then build in your city. The problem is, unfortunately, a lot of those items are a waste of your money, especially at the beginning when you don't make that much. Let's take an example here. The recycling center. The recycling center sounds pretty nifty, right? You don't need a landfill all the garbage which is transported there is getting destroyed over time. But the problem is it can only carry 50 tons and it only burns 10 tons per month. So it takes far too long to actually get rid of the garbage just through the recycling center. And more importantly, that thing costs you 160 bucks per month to keep it running. Money you don't really have at the beginning and which doesn't pay off later. And this goes with a lot of the stuff you can unlock. A lot of the stuff is super expensive, doesn't really do much for you, and you don't have that money. It's a luxury item. But what is useful and what you should definitely unlock are the road items. They are super helpful. Unfortunately, transportation, you cannot utilize most of the transportation right now to do trading with other cities. So that's a bit bugged. Um, at least at the point of this recording, I hope it will be fixed very soon. But the one thing you should definitely invest in is education. Education is the money maker in City Skylines 2. So get to college as early as possible. University, not too important because the university is super expensive and you don't even have that many people who are utilizing it. But you want a great school. You want a high school. You want a college and make it so that they are accessible. Right, I have all the three buildings here pretty close by and I also created some bus lines which will then drive to the grade school, to the high school and to the college to get the people there to give them access to education. And even though, yes, my college also costs 150 bucks per month, it actually makes me money. Yes, believe it or not, thanks to the service fees, aka the education fees, you can see it down below in the right corner, I actually make money. I'm at plus minus zero when it comes to how much I spend on education and how much I make. So education is a no brainer for me because it doesn't really cost me in the end. Yes, it will cost you a little bit at the beginning, but the moment you have more and more people in your city, you don't even spend money on education anymore. But wait more, that doesn't make you money. So how does education make you money? Well, it does make you money later on when the people are educated and they have a job because when you are going into taxation, you can see it right here, right? Uneducated people make only 26,000 per month while the poorly 
educated, the educated and well educated make me a huge chunk of money, right? And you can see how many people I actually have who are educated. That's the right one. And you can see right here, even though I have 18% uneducated people, they barely make me any money. And the well educated make me already a shit ton of money, all, even though I have only 12.8% of them in my city. So educate your people. They're the resource you want later on, which will make you a lot of money because it also takes a while. Look at this. If people want to graduate from the college, it takes them about 11 to 14 months, so over a year to finish college. So what you want to do is you want to build this early on so that in a year into the game, you have a lot of educated people, which will make you even more money than you already do when you start right from the beginning. But you have to do it early. Don't wait, spend some money, it will pay off. I promise you. If you still have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget, if you're new here, you can leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're interested in all what strategy games. That's what we are focusing here on the Mo Under Management channel. And thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. I see you next time. Bye-bye.